Hi, I'm Claire and I've decided to record all the dog walks that I go on through Borrow My Doggy. I joined Borrow My Doggy a couple of years ago, firstly to get fit and secondly to give more of a structure to my day. I wanted to look after other people's dogs as I have cats of my own that I didn't think would tolerate having a dog here and also I didn't want the overall responsibility and the vet bills. So my first dog was Pip who was a staffie and her owner was currently in hospital. The children were being looked after at grandparents and poor old Pip was not only lonely, very used to a busy crazy household um, so there was no noise and she was struggling with anxiety and loneliness and my role was to go in, take her for a walk and spend some time with her. Um, what started off as a couple of walks um, during the week became more time out walking and also time spent at her house um, and also I started to bring her to my house um, which meant that I could get on and do other things but she still had the company of having me around and that really worked and about four months later her owner came home from hospital the children were back Pip was back to a normal crazy household and her anxiety had completely disappeared her ears were up when we went out. She no longer struggled to go to the toilet when we were out because she was so anxious. Um, she decreased the amount of time that she spent turning round and round in circles trying to bite her own lead when she saw other dogs. Um, and also, just in general, her demeanour was just so much happier. Um They've currently moved not too far from me, so I continue to walk Pip about three to four times a week. Um, and yeah, I feel a strong loyalty to Pip. She was my first Borrow My Doggy. Very sad background, not used to, um, well, she is used to other dogs, but she can't be around other dogs. Um, so her walks can be quite stressful. Um, she is better road walking, although there are times when I've taken her places where the opportunity has presented that she can come off the lead. Generally, she's muzzled at that point. Um, and she can run around and lead a normal, happy dog's life. Um, so yeah, that's Pip. I then took on Lola, who's a little patterjack who very very sweet we met up we went for a walk to the park um and just begun a walk every now and then her owner works from home and is able to take her out for a walk um but her owner noticed that she was just seemed to be a bit lonely at home um loved going to the park seeing other dogs so then they got buddy who's a patterdale he has Springer in him. He's always up for a run, full of energy, full of beans, a great personality, but such a mummy's boy. He is such a wuss. Um, Lola came through her op when she was spayed and you wouldn't have even known she'd undertaken surgery. When it was Buddy's turn, he milked it. He had to be picked up everywhere he had to wear a little baby grow and yeah just generally a man um so taking buddy and lola out are great they're socialized with other dogs they love people they love children we go to the cafe that's dog friendly we go for walks they can come off the lead and it's just a totally different experience than walking pip um more relaxed but still have to be on your guard obviously um i don't like them obviously out of my sight and the fact that they're not my response 
well, they are my responsibility while I've got them, but they're not my dogs. Um, you have an even greater responsibility, I believe, um, because the last thing you want to do is lose somebody else's dog. Um, so that's Lola and Buddy, who I currently walk once a week, but we tend to go out for longer periods of time. So might have them for three or four hours once a week and extra if um, their owner has meetings in London or just because I fancy an extra walk and they're free um, and Buddy's up for a walk as many times a day as you can give it to him um, and my other charge is Dougie Dougie's owner contacted me and we met up and Dougie is a random he is so much fun um, lovely natured dog their owners got him from Greece um, he'd been outside for six to eight months of his life so when they first brought him over from Greece he didn't want to go in the house he would stand outside and shake um, now he pretty much owns the house um, the sofas are his I believe at night he's on the bed and I wouldn't put it past him to have crawled up in between them and got his head on the pillow um lovely lovely nature very socialized obviously with other dogs because of his background um likes playing with a ball loves playing chase in the park and just loves being around people and dogs in general um and i have him three days a week usually have him around 10 o'clock and keep him till four five o'clock um Again, Dougie can come to my house. He's great in a pub, in a cafe, um, loves going down the beach, loves going up the hills, and he will run and run and run. Um, and then he will completely flake out, curl up like a baby and sleep. And then the minute you mention the word, shall we go out, he's up again. So he's great company. And recently his cousin by family marriage um has also come on my books he is a cross um hang on a minute my cat's just appeared um he's a cross german shepherd again lovely nature very very placid doesn't like getting anything wrong um very loyal very faithful very big and very hairy so I'm constantly de-dogging my car which sounds rude but I've been getting rid of the dog hair um but licorice is great fun um but it didn't walk out with his owners that he not his owners his walkers that live on site with him he is okay with their dogs um but not when they're out for a walk. Their dogs are quite dominant. So Licorice has joined my Dougie days. Um, they get on brilliantly. There's no problem with having them together. Um, so that's my five dogs. Um, I can't currently fit any more dogs in. Um, but what I feel I do do is have very personalised care. I choose walks depending on which dog I have. I go to different places to try and keep it as much fun for the dogs as it is for me because it gets boring doing the same routes all the time. Um, I meet up with my friend once a week with her dogs. So we go out together. So it's become a bit of a social for them as well as for me. Um, but other times I quite like it that it's just me and the dogs. Um, you can totally relax in one way because you're not making conversation with people you can just be alone with your own thoughts um but also you've got the company of the dogs and it gets you out and about and you don't want to let the dogs down so if ever I'm having a bad morning or you think oh I don't feel like doing much today the last thing you want to do is let the dogs down so off you go and invariably you feel much better afterwards um so that's a little bit about me and then 
I wanted to take you on some walks with some of my dogs. Um, and what I was really aiming for is other dog walkers from Borrow My Doggy to get in touch, especially if you live in this area, which we're down in the south of England, down in Sussex, near Brighton. So we have the sea, we have the downs. So we're really lucky where we are. Um, but to have ideas of things you can do with dogs, you know, places that you've been that have been brilliant that you can walk around and the dogs can walk around places that aren't particularly dog friendly even though they say they are pubs that you go in that are dog friendly um any goodies you've made for the dogs um i have got a brilliant recipe for dog bone biscuits which have been really really popular with my lot and yeah really just to make contact with other dog walkers and you know bash around a few ideas and things that work and things that don't work really um so yeah that's it for now and see you later